Welcome to Fablasana, the lion and the rat. Hello, yogis. Today we will leave the story of the lion and the rat. But before we begin, we need to say the magical word of yoga. We take our hands in front of our heart and ask three. We bend forward and say one, two, three. Namaste. Let's go. In this story, there is a rat, a very shy, a coward rat. He is always crawling because he's scared of everything. So we crawl into ourselves, hands in front of us, hiding from everything and everyone. And there is also the king of the kingdom, the lion. We stand on our knees and we're going to do a lion roar. We open our mouths big, our tongues out. Go <gasps> roar! One more time. Roar! But believe it or not, in this story, the rat is the hero. But at the minute, the rat is very shy. So when the snake comes by, we do the snake, we lay on our belly, we sit on our elbows. The snake just wants to say hi, but the rat is so scared. He calls, he calls, he calls. He didn't even hear what the snake had to say. He was too scared. Or when the eagle comes by, we do the eagle, we put one leg on top of the other arms up, we put one arm under the other. So once the eagle came to ask him about his apple pie recipe, but the rat didn't hear it, he was too scared. Another time, we change side because in yoga we do everything on both sides. We take other hand under. Another time he was asking him about his family, but the rat how is he doing? Crawling. We crawl again. He was hiding into a bush. So now you could say, yes, but the snake and the eagle are bigger than the rat. That's why he got scared. But when it's a teeny tiny spider, let's do the spider. Legs wide, bottoms down. Legs, um, arms at the back. The spider came to ask him if he wanted to dance, but the rat never had heard it. So let's do the dance. But the rat, what was it doing? He was crawling into a hole. So scared, so scared. Being scared like that, he got himself quite a reputation. All the animals know that he's scared of everything and he's never brave so they laugh so we oh lay on our back catch up with and we laugh too <laughs> that's not very nice is it so one day he decided to change he wanted to be brave he wanted to prove that he could do better so he decided to come visit the king in his kingdom and be a real warrior proud brave so let's do the first warrior we put one leg in front one leg at the back we bend on front knee straight back leg arms up Ooh, and he presents himself i live in your kingdom i'm a rat and decided to that I would like to be your friend. He continues by being during the second warrior. We open our arms, turn our back foot. We're all very proud, very still. He says that maybe one day it could be useful. And he continues backward. And he continues reversing the warrior with one arm on top of our leg, one arm at the top. Hmm. 
and to finish of course he needs to show respect to the king so we interlace some fingers and we bend forward to meet our knee in signs of respect now that the rat is getting a bit more confident he does it on the other side like a choreography let's try again he first he does the first warrior again and then arms up and then the second warrior open off back foot arms wide and then you reverse the warrior and finally to show respect the humble warrior interlace the fingers and we stand again the lion is quite impressed he is sitting in his throne let's do the throne like if you want to sit on a chair bottoms at the back you raise your arms hmm he's thinking he really likes eating rats that's his favorite meal but also he's thinking that that was so brave that the rat dared to came in front of him and say all that that he decided to spare his life the rat is so happy he jumps so we put your arms Put our hands on the floor and we jump. Yahoo! 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 And before to leave, of course, as a sign of restraint, it bends forward. So feet together with a straight back, we bend forward as a sign of respect. And we stand again and the rat goes. A few days later, the lion decides to visit his kingdom. So we walk like a lion. We have our hands and feet on the floor, bottoms up, and we're walking. Oh no! We raise one leg. The lion got trapped. Oh no! We put our legs down and we raise the other one. Oh no! The second leg got trapped too. So, leg on the floor. What is he gonna do? What's happening? So we stand, we're looking. Oh, he got trapped into a fillet in a tree. Let's do the tree. We can put one foot on top of the other to do a lower bridge, or maybe on our ankle for a medium bridge, or maybe all the way up onto our thighs for a very high bridge. And we do more branches with our arms. We are three. And in yoga, we do everything on both sides. So whatever you did on the first side, do it on the second. On top of the foot. Next to the ankle. Next to the thighs. And arms up. Well done. If you feel like you're a bit wobbly, you can look straight forward, looking something that is not moving, something completely still. So, what now? The lion is trapped in that tree. What is he going to do? First, he's trying really hard to free himself. So, we lay on our back. And like if we were cycling on a bike, we pedal, 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 pedal. Oh, but it is not working. Oh. Let's sit and sink. Maybe if we stretch the fillet as much as possible, we will break. Let's try. So we catch one foot and we try to straighten our leg. Uh, it stretches the fillet, but not enough. It is not working. Let's try maybe on the other side. It will work better. We catch our foot. Uh, no, it doesn't change anything. It is not working. <sighs> The lion is desperate. He's thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, last idea. We stay seated with the straight legs and we'll try to call a friend. Let's catch one foot and bend our knee. This is our phone. The ring, the ring. Yes, hello, this is the king. I am trapped. Could you please help me? Oh, we're busy. Okay, 
Never mind. Let's try someone else. The ring, the ring. Yes, this is the lion. Could you please come and help me? Oh, you're gardening. You don't have time. Yeah, I, I understand that's more important than uh, helping the king. Never mind. We hang up. Put off it back. Oh, what could we do? He doesn't know what to do. Oh, the wait. What about that little rat who came the other day and was so brave and said he wanted to be a, the lion's friend? That was right. So we took off. We so we take our other foot and we try. Dee -dee 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 -dee. The ring, the ring. Yes. Uh, is it the rat? Yes, it is. Great. This is the lion. Um, I'm stuck in a tree. Could you please come and help? Oh, you can come right now. Oh, that's marvelous. Well, I'm waiting for you then. Perfect. See you soon. And we hang up. Ooh, the lion is so happy. That was a really good idea to spare his life in the end. Meanwhile, the rat is so happy he can help. He's running, 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 running. And we are there. We are at the tree. What could we do? What could we do? He has an idea. It will eat the rope. And maybe it will break. Let's try it. We lay on our side, hands in front of us, and we open wide our arms, like if you, if it was a big mouse. Let's go. <gasps> it's working. The fillet broke on one side. Let's try on the other side. Whoop. We try it again. <gasps> it worked. The lion. He's free and he's so happy. Leg wide, arms wide, ah, oh, freedom. Feels so nice. And the rat is in the same position because he's so proud of himself. He's been so brave, right? Right after, the lion organized a big party uh, to honor his new friend, the rat. And he gives him a big trophy. Let's do the trophy. We sit on our feet and we raise our arms like a big trophy. Big, 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 big. And he gives it to the rat in front of the whole kingdom. <gasps> the whole kingdom is so impressed. They always knew the rat being quite a coward and always hiding. But and he's been so brave helping a lion. <gasps> what? How impressive, right? Oh, after all these adventures, oh, so rat is tired. Oh, so it's gonna lay down for, for just a minute, you know? Oh, let's lay down too. With our feet, feet apart and our arms along our body can close our eyes and stay still as much as possible. And we can think about what just happened. Hmm. Could you imagine that the story would end like this? That this tiny rat could help a big lion? Can you think? All the time, maybe you helped someone that was bigger than you. Maybe you helped mom or dad or grandma, grandpa or your big sister or big brother. And helping is not just about helping someone bigger, it's just helping, right? Maybe you helped one of your friends at school or even your little brother or little sister. Well, okay. Maybe you can think about it for a minute or if you can't think of something maybe you can think about something you could do in the future to help so maybe in the playground if you see a friend um, if you if you see someone not being nice 
to one of your classmates, you could come and say something. That would be very helpful. Or at home, maybe you could set the table. That would help more than that for sure. Think about it and enjoy it. Be quiet first for a few seconds. Now when you're ready, you can start wiggling your fingers on your toes and then bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a big hug and turn to one side and come and sit like we were at the beginning with your eyes closed. At some point you open them, try to close them again. Now it's time to say goodbye, so we put our hands in front of our heart and that's three, we bend forward and say the word. One, two, three. Namaste. You can open your eyes now. Have a good day, yogis. <laughs>